Yeah, 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 YouTube, it's your boy Wally, and this is Man Comedy Destroys a Delusional Woman with Facts? Okay. I see this. When the wind doesn't blow, when we had really cold days, we were reliant on importing from the EU, on coal, and on gas. How are we going to replace that in the short term? Quite frankly, I'm not a scientist. What I am doing is listening to what all the experts are saying. We're living in this insane world where the experts aren't being listened to. So this is one of those... Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. She literally said, I'm not... Damn. She literally said, I'm not no expert. But the experts aren't being listened to. And I'm listening to what the experts are saying. So what the fuck are the experts saying? She says, dude, it's, this, this is just when people are talking bullshit, bro. I'm listening to what the experts saying, and it's like, then what is it? What did they say? Purple hair, just stop oil lunatics. It's time to pick a side. We don't have time to waste anymore. Why were you arrested? Now. I'm not a criminal. I'm a scared little kid trying to fight for their future. And to start off with, you're one of the Muppets that makes the world more insane. And she says she listens to the experts. Just watch her not listen to one fact that comes out of this guy's mouth throughout the whole debate. The United Nations has called for no more oil and gas. The International Energy Agency has said we can have no new oil and gas. The IPCC report, the largest global report on the climate crisis, have all said we can have no new oil and gas. How many more experts need to say it? Because we can't do it tomorrow. What are we going to do in terms of transport? That we still need petrol for cars and we need diesel for lorries. How? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's so funny because she's here saying things that it's like, dude, I'm pretty sure the majority of people realize that we should find a different renewable, you know, energy source for us to continue evolving as a human race because for us to try to evolve off of the energy source that we've used for the last millennia or so, it's not it's not gonna be conducive to like a greater planet. We understand that. But you it's like this thing that certain people do when it's like, yeah, I'm an activist of something and I want to just yell about what we need to make a change on, but not actually specify how the change is supposed to come. It's like you can't just yell, oh, yeah, no, these gases are bad. Don't you see the experts are saying the gas? Bitch, we've been known that shit was bad. I didn't need you to tell me the experts are telling me that these new gases are bad. It's like, are you fucking stupid? I, I don't need you to tell me that shit. Well, of course I know that. What I want to know is, what is the plan then for getting, I don't know, let's say for getting food across country, for getting people from one place to another whether it's for work or whether it's to see their families or whatever it is. What 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 are your resources, you know, the, the resources you're going to bring to the table to take care of all of these plights that will come from just shutting off all gas and energy sources? Like, that makes no sense. You know what I mean? It, and that's my, don't just say shit. Like, unless you have a plan, like, be quiet. Are we going to get goods into supermarkets without this? Yeah, and also, I want to know how you travelled to that interview, how you dyed your hair, and how you probably paint your nails. Exactly. Quite frankly, I'm not a scientist. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the world, and we're living the, the effects of the climate crisis today. Right now, people are dying. Children are starving. Okay. Families are fleeing their home. <sighs> I hate humanitarians to say this. Bitch, that shit's been happening since the dawn of human existence. Like, that is that is us. There's always famine happening somewhere. There's always people fleeing their homes somewhere. But what does that have to do with any of what you're talking about? That's just a human fact. Real And the, the funny thing is, it's not worse now than it has been prior. It's actually better now than it's been prior. So you're complaining about something that has gotten better over time. Like... Oh my God, it's frustrating, dude. It's frustrating to hear like, like dumbasses speak. New Muppets also doing similar things by not allowing working class people to go to work, stopping pregnant people getting to the hospital, stopping kids from getting educated. You're a pain in the ass, the lot of you. Your parent is a lot of kids in that place. Come on, mom she wants to let us the bus go. You got kids in the crib, of bus. Come on, guys. There's a kid in the bus. They need to go to school. Your parents. You 
want to speak on the side. You bitch ass niggas are literally blocking off the road and there's a kid in a bus trying to get to school and your bitch ass is telling her to step to the side? A woman that's speaking the truth, you're telling her to step to the side. Why should she step to the side when you're blocking the road? That's so all oh, triggering, bro. That's triggering, bro. Punch this nigga in the fucking face, bro. Punch it, bro. I wish you would. I wish you would swing on all these niggas, bro. Shut the fuck up about dolphins, nigga. I. You know the thing that that honestly, and I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but if every dolphin was to die and go extinct today, it wouldn't affect the human race in the least. It wouldn't. It would affect the human race less than them stopping this kid from getting to school. Because you don't know what this kid can be in the future. You don't know what it is that he's missing out on. What kind of information he can learn today that's going to change the dynamics of everything that could fix the energy crisis. You don't know what this kid can become. You guys blocking his path from education is far worse than if all the dolphins died. And I'm not saying all the dolphins should die. I'm just saying they don't have any, like, they don't do anything for human evolution at all. They're not even like bees. We don't get anything from them. Like, just, you're, you're fucking wasting my time for, for something that means nothing to my life. Fucking dolphins. Fucking morons. What about Dumbass. dolphins? What about my kids' education, you fucking dolphins? Fucking That's idiot. About dolphins right now. This just sums it all up, to be honest. I'm telling energy. you, it's and it's dolphins. preventable. Energy. We have the solution. Cheap energy is one of the things that has hugely extended life expectancy by the ability to control temperatures, whether this is by air conditioning or by heating, the ability to store food more effectively, the ability to transport food, yep. and indeed use fertilizers to grow more food. Yeah has all been essential in increasing life expectancy. Yes, it's, it's, it's this thing that's like the people that talk, it's just, any, any whether it's even the right or the left, doesn't matter what side they're coming from. If they're not coming from a side that uses common sense, we should just stop giving these people platforms. This woman was literally platformed for sitting on a fucking, you know, by a building that got painted and yelling crazy shit. Like, and she, she got a platform. Why are we platforming these folk? Why? Like, you're a waste of everybody's space and time and energy. Move on. Taking all that away would be disastrous for life expectancy. Do you know what's essential in keeping our food supply? Tackling the climate crisis. This year we lost a third of our wheat crops, half of our potato crops, and it's only going to get worse. We're heading to a future where people are going to be fighting over the last loaves of bread at Lidl? Wow. Really? I guess she doesn't realize that in the last two years, the food industry has actually thrown away the largest. This was like the largest exercise in waste of natural product and food that we've ever seen in human history. It just was tossing food away. And yeah, it makes sense because of COVID. And so you have to give it that. And since they couldn't keep places stocked up, they would just toss these things. They, they had so much food thrown away, they couldn't even give it away enough. Like the, the shelters wouldn't take them. They wouldn't take food. And here she's talking about like the wheat and the potato farms. And, and you know what I mean? When realistically, dude, the thing that she doesn't understand, especially about farming, is that every year isn't the same. The summer didn't last as long every year. The winter didn't last as long every year. The crops didn't get as much sunlight as they wanted. So pretty much like these are farming issues. These aren't like, this isn't like something we should look at as like, oh yeah, look at this fact. You know what I'm talking about? But the only way we get our wheat crop is by putting the fertilizers on that come from fossil fuels. How are we going to replace that? That the productivity of organic farming is so much lower than of modern farming methods. We cannot feed the world on organic farming. And you must know that. So if it was a non-binary purple-haired lunatic's choice, we'd all be fucked. How do you expect to feed the world when our crops are destroyed by droughts, floods, wildfires, storms? <laughs> What bro, these have these things have happened forever. That's the literally this is the access of human history. Is that no matter what, it doesn't matter what time, it doesn't matter what space we are in history, that's happened. Like crops would be destroyed by 
I don't know, natural disasters that would happen because they're natural and you can't always take in, like, you can't always understand exactly the effects that we have on the planet and you can't always understand how the planet is going to react to anything. Like, it's said that a butterfly that flaps its wings half the world away will be felt half the world away. Like, it'll start a tornado half the world away. If that's, even if that's a myth, that the fact that we had that idea that a, a, a freaking, you know, butterfly or a bird or anything with a wing can flap its wing and it creates a tornado, a natural disaster on the other side of the planet should tell you that it's like the unexpected things are going to happen to our food sources. It, it always has. That's just history. You've always had... Um, weather events that have affected crops. But oh, that actually, using fossil fuels for fertilizers and moving on to genetic modification of crops has enormously increased the yield. That since Malthus rate, we've increased agricultural productivity by about 2% per annum. And this is what is allowing people uh, to get extended life expectancy because they've got more certainty of food. And this all depends on cheap energy, yep. which has come from fossil fuels. Jacob, you have six children. Do you not care about their future? It's like she hears him say a real fact and then and her mind just comes up with something to throw at him that really doesn't make sense. It's like, do you care about your children's future? Well, if you do, then how about you help me shut down all of these different things that helps human beings survive? Like, I don't understand why the fuck that makes sense. It's like, she's like, do you not care about your kids? Then why on earth would you want us to keep using these same mass energy sources that we've used to create the same mass food that we've been using to keep the world fed when you know that if we didn't use these things, then your kids might starve and then it might start a whole issue and epidemic around the world. Why would you not join me? It's like, of course he's not going to join you. It's like, dude, I don't want to create starvation quicker than later. Her whole plan is everybody let's focus on naturally growing food and natural farming he's saying hey you know that natural farming cannot at this point where we are in history ever hope to actually produce enough food to feed all of us and everybody and also do not realize that worldwide everywhere doesn't grow the same food right you, you can't get the same nutri nutritional value from every corner of the world that's why the world shares that's why we share our export because nutritional value is something that's necessary you need to get nutrition from every aspect of the world like like it's it's just a fact i would say like the u.s realistically would have a terrible mortality rate if it wasn't for mexico being right across the border and the fact that they Im import some of the fre the freshest fruit that we get like it's like that's just it's just like you have to think about those things and that takes energy and gas and all of those things it takes that for us to eat you remove that people are dead do you not care about them being able to feed themselves because right now under this government's policies your six children are heading towards a future that is filled with life-threatening extreme weather events crop failures famine war suffering on a scale completely unimaginable so right now your kids are on a trajectory that human beings have consistently been on so they're not on anything different your kids are going down the same road humanity has gone down forever like you're she's trying to make it seem more dire than it is like no this is you're literally just saying what things have always been it's always been like this like, no one is saying that we shouldn't look for a change. We're just saying that, like, you're trying to make it seem like things are, have become so dire in the last, who the fuck knows how much time, right? In the last 10 years, things have become so dire that if we do not completely just retrofit everything we're doing, that everybody's destined to die. It's like, that doesn't make sense. Oh. I think you've taken the evidence for an evolving climate and then applied it in an extraordinary extreme way. Yes. And are forgetting about the enormous advantages. I can't advantages. believe you're talking to me about an evolving climate. Well, the climate people is People are dying. But uh, th this is a statement. Do you know how many people uh, are suffering around the world? What? Do you know how it is to be, like, invited to a platform and then, like, the person you invite to the platform just does not understand how to comport themselves on a platform? Because that's what you're doing, 
Like, you, you weren't invited here so that you can. Uh, do you? How can you even say this to me? No, you were invited here so you can have a conversation with the guy. What evidence is there that this is because we're using fossil fuels, that the climate evolves, but more people die each year from cold than from heat? As Have you, you know, read the IPCC report? What do it. you mean? What science? Well, but in terms, you're making extreme claims, but you're suggesting by not using fossil fuels, we would not produce the food we need to feed the world population. I'm suggesting that, that if we keep on heading down this genocidal path of mass destruction, then no, there won't be any foods in the supermarket. But then we will see vast waves of the world uninhabitable. But, we will see mass displacement of people. But if you took out fossil fuels tomorrow, you would simply not have the productivity of agriculture you ha need to feed eight or nine billion people. And that would be tomorrow. She doesn't understand at all, bro. And this is the thing that a lot of, a lot, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, it's not women, like a lot of people do, right? A lot of people do this thing that triggers me because it's like him and her are not in opposition. He and her are not in opposition. He's telling her the truth. He's telling her a fact. All he's saying is if we were to remove fossil fuels by like tomorrow and it's like stop using fuel for our export and growing our food and all that, then we would not be able to keep up with the demand of eight or nine billion people on this planet. And it would create exactly what she's talking about, a massive famine. Like, it would be terrible. It would be terrible. It would be a, a, one of the greatest depressions we've ever had because you just we wouldn't be able to mass produce enough food to feed anybody. And it wouldn't just be a depression. People would just be dying from famine. And for somebody that's speaking about this stuff, like, do you want a future with your, where your kids are? It's like, dude, if we implement your plans right now, our future would be our kids dying far sooner than they should. What he's saying is, if you were to implement all of these things tomorrow, it wouldn't work. It would fuck our society. That's why you need a better plan, something that's going to be not us completely like giving up on fossil fuels, but maybe something that comes and replaces it. Right. Something that's like this source of energy isn't just renewable, but it, it's also natural, which is what people have been looking for forever. That that at this point in time is still the biggest race in, you know, the technological development of human societies. Like who's going to create that source of energy? That's what they're doing. Like for her to just be here like, oh, well, let's just shut down everything that we we're doing so that like we can hopefully make it through it's like no don't just hopefully walk through situations come up with a plan first don't just talk out your ass plan um i'm not saying you shouldn't reduce emissions I'm not arguing that i'm exactly. simply saying you must do it when you have the technology exactly. to replace the energy that you're using exactly it's that simple lady use your brain common sense you can be mad all day about oh the planet is dying uh, but what are we going to do right now respectfully to change that instead of just like throwing out a bunch of ideals that don't make sense realistically because otherwise all the consequences you're arguing for will happen immediately we exactly all of the consequences you're arguing for all of these things the famine that you're talking about the this like it will all happen immediately the world will crash and for you to not see that is just nuts. Not have the food we need to feed the population of the world. This whole debate is basically like the calm father shutting up his delusional daughter. She doesn't care what comes out of his mouth, whether they're facts or not, whether it affects the population long term. All she cares about is trying to look like the good person, a little virtue signaler. But she's I probably swear. just a little rich kid that needs some meaning in her life. She's the same Muppet that vandalised the Van Gogh painting and also tries to vandalise buildings all the time. <laughs> Bruh. And the thing I really hate about these kids is like they'll say like, oh, yeah, I do this to spread awareness. Why don't you spread awareness without the camera? Why does the do you need to have a camera? Why can't you spread awareness in, in every museum you go to? Right. Go to a specific museum, spread awareness there. Let them know, hey, what, what's more? Why are all these fucking pieces of art just so worth so much? It makes no sense. And then toss your paint on it right go toss paint on the mona lisa and and create this why is it like i need a camera on me and let everybody know all it's this is all it is anytime you see anybody doing any type of activism is like i've got to be on a camera 
and make sure to start this big thing and then go on some interview and yell about it. And it's like, just make a change. There are so many people out there that really like that. The people that truly care about changing something, change things within their own lives. They don't need to do it within this, you know, bubble of what the media is. It's just weird. Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? She's an this girl's a fucking moron. I'm sorry. No, this girl's a fucking moron. No, 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 no. She's a fucking moron, bro. Because the, the thing you don't understand is, like, we could live in a world, like, we could find ourselves a millennia from now in a world where there's still food, right? There's still a planet, but there's no art. There's no beauty. And human beings live the saddest, shittiest lives. of it. Like, we see movies of them all the time. All the time. What do you think The Hunger Games is? Do you think there was culture in the Hunger Games? Do you think there's beauty in the Hunger Games? There's art in the Hunger Games? No, because all they can do is survive. And you have these people that are just consistent. They talk out their ass. It's like, what's more important to you? A fucking painting or a planet? Like, why do we have to choose? Why can't we have both? Why can't we have a planet and a painting? Why? Why can't we have beauty and we can also have the thing that envelops it all? A house, a building, a family. Why do we have to choose? 